back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner, and we are back for actually another Get Fit With Me series, um, accountability series. And as I promised, it's a little late, so this will be posted tomorrow versus on a Monday like I normally would. Hopefully, we'll be back to a normally scheduled program for next week. But um, I kind of wanted to, I, I shared that um, I started my half marathon training last week, and I'm going to like share the victories, the okay, we need to do better about this and all that good stuff. And I would say overall, last week was a good first week for half marathon training. Um, I got all my yoga in. So that was number one. Um, my goal for half marathon training is I'm trying to get three um, times a week of yoga at least in my routine. Mission accomplished. I did that. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to make sure that I got back to besides the running part of it, of course, is getting back to doing my strength training four times a week. Now I was short by a day, but I actually did my strength training today, which is a Monday, which I normally wouldn't do to try to make up for it. So this week that's coming up, I'm actually going to do five times in for strength training and one thing I will also say that was a victory for this training this week, and I'm going to start documenting these things actually so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, soon um but for the strength training i will say this this time around i don't know if it's just a combination of everything that's going on in my life and me really truly being motivated because i have multiple things that's moving me to really get to it this time around um i worked out hard i am so sore <laughs> like everywhere but like i forgot that's how i always used to feel when I was in my best shape, I was always sore. And the thing is, you have to train your body to get used to feeling sore. Um, as anyone who's an athlete, you know that's what it is. You train your body to always feel sore, but not sore where you can't really do anything, but just enough where you like know that, okay, I'm doing things. And this is the first time in a while I feel sore everywhere, like really sore. And... Um, one of the days at the gym, I will say yesterday to be exact, I was there for three hours. And I forgot that is what I used to do. I forgot three hours used to be a normal thing for me. And I think because I've been getting so caught up with life and trying to do this work, work life balancing, which has not been working at all lately. Um, which that will be changing soon um, because I'm putting myself first, <laughs> you know, when it comes to that. Um, but anyway, I'm saying that because those three hours, the more and more I kept working out, the more energized I felt. Like after I left the gym, I felt like I was ready to flip a car over. And I forgot that's how my workouts used to always be. So I used to really, really love just getting to the gym and getting to it. Like I was zoned out. I wasn't saying hi to nobody at the gym, even though I go to the, I've been going to the same gym for years now. Everyone knows who I am. They all say hi, say what they wave and everything. And I'm still just kind of like, no, I needed, I needed to get back to how I used to be, which is focus onto the task and zoning out. And I did that. I added more routines to what I normally do. So I left exhausted, but like exhausted, but awake at the same time. So I know I'm finally in the path of where I used to be. Like, I will say this, um, yesterday, I even shared this when I went out in the evening, so I went out for a little bit. This past couple works out of, workouts I had, including today, this was the first time I actually felt like myself again, the way I used to feel like pre 
world ending stuff. I used to, when I would go to the gym, I would get to it. And it just felt so good to really, really get back to that space. So from the strength training perspective, I missed a day, but I made it up today and I'm sore. And so tomorrow I'm not gonna go to the gym. I need a rest day because <laughs> I went three days in a row to the gym. Yeah, um, I did not run today. So that's, that's the other thing that I need to improve on. Um, so I missed one running workout last week. I did four times of running versus the five. So we're going to try to get back to the five. Running's a little bit more on the tricky side when it comes to making up workouts. Like I'm more comfortable making up workouts when it comes to strength training versus running. Running, especially once you get past the half marathon. Half marathon is kind of okay to still try to make up workouts, but I wouldn't recommend it. Especially the older you get, you really should not try to make up workouts. Um, so um, next, this week, we're going to just get the five in. And um, there's another day that I'm going to do, I think in a couple weeks from now, where I'm supposed to run three, but I'm actually just going to add the other three that I missed. And I'll just run six. But I want to wait until I have a little bit more of a base before I add that mileage that I lost because doing that too soon is literally how injuries happen um, if you're going to do that. Um, now, what I will say is for marathon training, I would never recommend do that. Do not do that. That is literally how I've gotten myself, not really injured, but kinked up. Um, I've really only had one true major, major injury and that was last year when I broke my foot or broke my you know pinky toe. So which caused all this <laughs> trickling down effect. Uh, but prior to that, the only other injuries I've had and I've been mindful of and I've been really good about um, with the running is I do have um, Achilles issues um, and always have. Ever since I started really doing longer mileage, I've always been someone where the Achilles, my left Achilles especially, specifically always likes to try to give me problems. So one of the things I've done to combat it, and I've even, I've shown you that the exercises where I do the foot exercises, I do them every morning now, regardless if I'm running or not, because it actually just feels good to do it. And then I've also make sure I wear compressions, um, socks or sleeves during most of my runs. Um, the only time where I don't do that, um, so much is when it's on treadmill because the bounciness of the treadmill actually feels good. Um, that doesn't bother my Achilles as much. It's more or less um, road or um, not even road. I would say at this point, it's not just the road. Um, no, trails don't bother me such either. But the point is we're, we're, we're going to continue to wear those moving forward just because I do need to um, get my ankles and um, all that part of my leg back into shape to be able to handle running trails. Because for those who don't know, yes, this half marathon to start the racing season for me. But the goal goal of the year is I'm doing another 50K. And I actually want to, I kind of want to try to win my age group. <laughs> I want to be... I'll be ready. So there's that. Anyway, so I also want to share what my workouts were real quick. And then next week, we'll kind of do the same thing again. And let me know if you have any suggestions or thoughts of what you want me to add to this. And I definitely will. Um, so let's kind of go into what I did last week. So last week, there was a lot of speed work that I did because um, I wanted to get myself back to used to doing speed work and being used to do bursts of energy bursts um, because that's another thing with the half marathon training. I'm trying to get my endurance back. But I'm trying to get the speed along with the endurance, which is why also the strength training, I have to kick it up a notch because it takes strength 
to be able to run fast. Um, but you also want to be careful and make sure your muscles are lean muscle and not bulky muscle. So I've added more routines with my strength training where I'm doing higher reps, lower weights. Um, so that's the other thing. But anyway, so I did, so one of my workouts was five repeats of um, 400s and then 1.2 mile run. So that was a light, easy workout to kind of get things started, to get the party started, if you will. Um, and that's all I did that day. I just ran that day. Um, another day, I just ran three miles, just did an easy three mile run. Um, another day, I did, um, like a fart lick run. Like I just did like an easy fart lick um, 30 minute run. Um, and then I had another day where I, and this was the case of me running on time because I got to the gym on Saturday at the very last minute. When I tell you the universe is trying to play with me and trying to get me to not get to the gym, <laughs> Saturday was a mess. So I was, I, I, there was a lot that happened. Like I found out that um, I had to, Parts of my parts of one of my toilets I had to get replaced because it was leaking. <sighs> yeah, so I didn't really get to leave the house on Saturday because of everything that was going on with that um, until like six. And my gym that I go to closes at eight, which is not a lot of time to get my strength training in and the run because that day I was supposed to do some speed work and I didn't quite get to it. So. I did some of it, but not all of it. Cause I was like, you know what? You have to do something. Um, Cause I didn't want to go too many days without running. So I did two 200 repeats and then two 400 repeats. That was part of a major run I was supposed to do that I did not get to, but I definitely got to it the following day, which was yesterday. Yesterday we went all in and we did 14 200 repeats, three 400 repeats, and so that was roughly four and a half miles of running that I did, um, and it was worth it. I'm glad I did that. So yeah, that's what I ended up doing. I did end up getting four runs in last week, and... This week we're gonna try for the five, and then this week with the strength training, we're going to do five times a week because we're making up for the one day that we didn't do last week. And we're gonna continue to make sure we get those three yoga sessions in. And I am hoping pretty soon I will be adding, adding um, cycling into the routine, especially once things get a little bit nicer. I actually have to get my commuter bike tuned up <laughs> so that I can actually bike to the gym, do the workout, um, and then bike home, and then maybe do strength training and all that. So when I tell you I'm motivated, um, and the things that are motivating me, it's, I haven't felt this kind of a drive since like 2012. Actually, no. 2019, I had a similar drive. I feel like I get these spurts of a drive. So 2012 was the first time I really felt that way. 2014, similar drive. Um, 2019, similar drive. And then now I, I have that drive again in me this year. And I don't know if anyone else is like this, but for me, typically, if I'm healthy, like the body's healthy and I'm healthy and I'm healthy, like everything about me is healthy for the most part. Um, Olympic years for me, I'm extra motivated during the Olympic year for like a summer Olympic year because I'm a huge track and field fan, so I watch all that stuff. So I get extra motivated with that. So I got that as a motivator. I also have the half marathon and then the, you know, ultra I have my milestone birthday as a motivator because, you know, that's happening. 
And last but certainly not least, I have a trip coming up pretty soon that I want to be, you know, looking all right. So the other thing I will share um, when it comes to how things are going with me as a whole is one number that's been popping in my head a lot and I'm going to like follow it is four. Four has been the number. Like to the point where, for those who don't know, I've already shared this before. So, okay, this is going to be, I guess, Get Fit With Me presents accountability slash updates, I guess. A little bit of both because I haven't kikied with y'all for a while. Um, I'll say the other thing that is kind of a motivator for me as well that and why four has been such a number. It's been just popping in my head randomly and... I've been told if you have a number that pops in your head, you need to like pay attention to it. There's a reason why it's popping up. So I'm being, I've been very intentional about it, about the number four. And I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to figure out why at some point, but four has been my number. Um, so I couldn't help it. I had to look it up to see why do I keep seeing four and what does it mean? And these are a couple of things that I found and came up with um, just from what what the internet have said. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing that for a reason. Um, it speaks to me and I'm just going to live in it. So there's that. But anyway, back to the video. Um, and... To the point where I mentioned the life update and I, okay, I forgot. That's where I was actually going. I'm sorry. Um, I mentioned the life update about, you know, things ending with my role, um, with my company. So I got to make some changes with that and we'll find out what happens with that. Um, but it called on me to end that journey and take Cause I'm supposed, my last day is supposed to be the fifth by a chain, but I was like, you know what? No, take some control of this and take that last day off. Let the fourth be your last day. Four, four, 24. I don't know why four is just in my head. But that's just been a thing for me lately. Four. Even with what I'm doing as far as like, should I be stressed out or not? No. And the number's calming me down. Just even hearing the number four has been calming me down. So I need to pay attention to it and that's what we're gonna do and that's the direction I'm going. I don't know what that means exactly. Um, I'm going to do some research to find out more. But that's where I'm at with things, though. Things are doing well for the most part. I know that I do need to make um, a phone call um, tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to do that on the 12th. Which also, that's still a four thing. I'm... I don't know what's happening. Four is just a thing. <laughs> but anyway, that does conclude this video for today. Um, yeah, I will give you more of the Get Fit With Me series accountability. I promise I won't go in this direction of spirituality as much, but you know, I, I feel in my spirit to say it. And so I'm putting it out there and we'll see what happens with that. But as far as me feeling a certain way when it comes to everything. I feel like I'm getting back to my old self and I feel like, for those who don't know, and I've already shared this before, I, I kind of believe in the stars and moons of it all, but I kind of don't. I just find it interesting. I find it as like a conversation piece, but I can't, for me, I feel like you can't ignore certain things. So for me, I'm an airy sun, but I'm a labor moon. And I noticed the past, couple of years when I haven't been myself or felt like myself, I've been leaning on more of my moon traits. I've been acting more like a Libra, which is great <laughs> to a certain degree. Like it's kind of like what I do to kind of protect myself, I feel like, for myself. 
Because <laughs> child of Aries side can be much for me. Um, but yeah, but when I go too much into the Libra side for me, I feel like I am not taking enough risk when I do that. Like I, I'm not gambling enough on myself. The like, and now I'm getting more towards, okay, you're her, what are you doing? Let's do what you do best and that's get to it. <laughs> So I'm getting back to that kind of energy, that little spicy energy I've always had. But I um, know. So I <laughs> am still late in posting the the first um, accountability series, uh, Get Fit With Me accountability series. And so um, today's Tuesday, so it's probably not going to come up now until Wednesday because it's taking forever for it to load. So I want to add what else, what I've done this week. And then we'll go from Wednesday on for next week's Get um, Fit With Me accountability series. So what I did today is I ran five miles after work and it was a decent run. Like I felt really, really good. Um, it was not my fast pace. I mean, we're still working on that. That's a work in progress. But I will say this, I'm glad I actually did the five miles, which was more of a longer run for me at this point because I was sore today, like super sore. Like my back was kind of sore, but what I did was I put some Icy Hot in all those spots and then I went on my run. And I kid you not, probably around three miles, I felt fine. And I always forget, you know, that's one of those things because I've been not doing what I've been doing in the past. Historically, I never like running the first 5K of, a, of any run. But once I get past the 5K, I'm fine. And I just need to be mindful of that and remember that. Anyways, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon the Nostalgic Runner. Yes, I'm in a robe because now I'm in my recovery mode. I'm drinking some um, Avacare rehydrate um that's one of the things i've been using for the past year and i've loved it so i <clears throat> got put onto it um during the vegas half marathon um expo that i went to so it's a pro it's an avocare product you can get on amazon um for strength training i do the spark and the spark is an amazing pre-workout like man you're you're ready to go once you like have some of that spark and then for recovery and also for when I'm hungover, I also use it too. But um, the rehydrate, perfect for recovery. And that's what I'm drinking right now. And in both cases, it's just powder that you put in your water and you keep it pushing. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.